You talked about Kanye. Sure. Before. When you saw the interview with the slavery comments, sure. where he said it was a choice. Sure. What did you think first? I thought that was the first black man I've ever seen put an asterisk on slavery. Yeah. I've never seen a black man do that before. I, and I've seen black men have mental problems. I've seen but slavery. I mean, asterisk means, yeah, but, you know, Barry Bonds hit all them home runs. But, you know, yeah, 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 the, 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 they won this. Uh, right, they, but he was, he was on steroids, so it doesn't really right, count. Right, right. Yeah, they won, but it was a short, it was a strike short in season. So an asterisk. I've never seen a black man do that before. Right. It almost reminded me of kind of the Mel Gibson thing yeah. about how the Holocaust didn't really happen. Right. It was but, just... but Mel Gibson wasn't Jewish and said that. Right. You had a black man. Now, I've seen people tell me that slavery wasn't as bad. They just haven't been people that I liked. <laughs> Everybody who said it before... Not that I, I just, I fucked with Kanye because I, I think, I thought. Wait, so you've had black people tell you slavery wasn't as bad as they make it out to be? I, I've never had anybody do that. Before. Right, that's what I'm saying. I've never had, now, in the, uh, I've never had anybody, do, you, you'll never find Ben Carson or people that I'm politically opposed to do that. He put an asterisk next to slavery. When you say shit like, um, um, uh, you know, slavery was a choice, well, I guess Harriet Tubman was just a travel agent. Mm-hmm. She wasn't like leading people to freedom, she was leading them to the Airbnb. Right. And to me, that disqualifies me from ever fucking with you again. You can never do that to me. Look, look, you can say whatever you want about me. When you make racists happy about the shit you said, fuck you. You know what I found interesting about this comment was if you go back to, I think it was Jimmy the Greek. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, sure. He made a comment on television that... Black athletes were superior to white athletes because of slavery and because of the slave Cross ships, right, right. and because physically they had to survive more right. things and so forth. And he was banned from television after yeah, that. Yeah, but he he made he made an uncomfortable analysis. Okay. You talk about Jimmy the Greek. Listen, black people, whether people like this or not, were chattel, right? What do you mean? Chattel. They they were they were no more than livestock to a lot of people. Okay. And if I if I have a livestock, in other words, if I have a livestock that can withstand this and a livestock that this strong, I breed them together to get a result. Right. And black people were bred That's right. during slavery. So he told the truth. Like that. What Kanye said that was different was that black people chose this for 400 years. And I find that for a couple of reasons. The black people that didn't chose this, that dumped into the ocean, that slit their kids' throats, that, sh- that that stabbed themselves to death or committed suicide are not who were the de- with the descendants of people who de- chose to go through all of this to be here. You tell me how how oh well, you know if you you don't make a certain choice you're a slave, but you had cosmetic surgery because you didn't feel good about yourself. How, how the fuck could you tell me? Right. And then you got on dope. What who's a bigger slave than somebody in this day? Right. Than somebody a- on after dope? your mom died from having cosmetic surgery. That's right. So don't tell me about how what you meant. What, you, what came out of your mouth was an insult to millions and millions of people. And if those people hadn't made the choices to be here, your ass wouldn't be saying nothing ignorant as that. And I don't give a... Listen, when you make white people, white racists feel good, feel good about themselves and go, see, fuck you forever. I mean it. Right. Well, what I found interesting, this is why I brought up the Jimmy the Greek situation, was that Jimmy said what he said. And I felt like what he said was not nearly as offensive as what sure. Kanye said. America does this. We get rid of the thing that we're looking at as opposed to the thing we should change. Okay, but but my point is, is that people were upset with Kanye for about a week. People went right back. I mean, his album dropped. Everyone bought not it. Me. It was it was right on top of it. I know not you, but in general. And and I and I would say people still say, wear sneakers. And, and I venture to say you ain't gonna see a lot of black people doing it. I venture to say that it's not a lot of black people. Doing it. Here's the thing. If you make an album good enough for us, if we you make us feel something, we will fuck with you. And that's what he did. The first three, four albums, we was like, this dude is on some shit that he sends shit. If you, that's how bad we need to feel good. If you make an album good enough, black people will make excuses for you. Or you ain't he ain't been the same since his mama died. Like black people made excuses for R. Kelly. Like, well, yeah, I know he peed on that girl. Chris Brown. But, yeah, we, we we'll make excuses for you as long as you have some hit song. Well, I've always said that a hit song will fix anything. That's right. Except this. Now, it'll be, I, I, I guarantee you he'll do well, but he don't need us no way. Like, mm. he has a, a pretty big audience. It's pretty diverse. So he doesn't need us anyway. 
But for, for me, there are certain things you can't do. You can do whatever you want to me. I, I'm in this business. That's the game. That's the price of doing business. Mm-hmm. But it's certain shit you can't do to me and ever fuck with me again. When you make people say racist, even white people who weren't racist went, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's, really, that's really racist. The only people who felt like that were like, oh, well, see, it ain't that bad. Yeah, I, I've actually compared it to telling someone who has life in prison that they're staying in prison because it's a choice. Right. It, it has nothing to do with the guns <laughs> or the barbed wire or the bars. It's you're choosing to be in prison. Well, you are. You could either stay in prison or you get, or get shot, shot trying to escape. That's right. Right. So so he was right in that, that there was a choice. But those choices that our ancestors made, he is a result of those. Yeah. He is a descendant of somebody who chose not to, who chose to be a raped, who chose to sell their children. Right, because cho- West was the name of the master. That owned you, right. That owned one of your descendants. Right. And you say that your people, the ones who, who seeded you life, Made a choice. I'm listen. He, I think he, he has made some great music, but I don't know what music you set that to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't know.